Thursday night, Jump in the Broom, and I loved it. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I love it. So tell me, what was it like working with Angela Bassett and their cast? That is a dream come true. Um, I've looked up to her since I was a little girl, and she's one of my favorite actresses, if not my favorite actress. Um, and, you know, I think she should already have her Oscar. And That's I'm just excited to see her presence and get a chance to not just meet her, but get to know her and hang out with her. And she's a woman of God as well, and she's just awesome. She's talented and beautiful, and uh, same with Loretta Devine, Paula Patton. So it was a great experience for me to be around so many empowered women with strong beliefs and just very bold, you know. Okay. Thank you. Megan, I'd like to know what advice would you give to young talent? Oh, yeah, I'd just like to know what advice would you give to new talent to get in the um, I, I would definitely say, you know, God's got to be first uh, above everything. 
I think that when you come to God first and you ask Him, is this something that you should be a part of? And you get the answer that yes, it is, and there's no stopping you, no rejection, no anybody telling you you're not good enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not this, you're not that. And uh, I think it kind of changes your attitude because the reason that you're doing it is not for money, it's not for fame, it's not for any of that stuff. It's because you desire to build up God's kingdom. And, uh, and I think that that just makes you a totally different experience for someone who's, who's trying to get into the game. It gives you drive. So. All right, and we have actually um, two more questions. Um, Hi, Megan. Um, a lot of your fans are probably, probably surprised, um, but how did you come to know the Lord? Um, I got saved when I was 12. I had a friend that passed away in a car accident, and uh, another one of my friends was in a car accident as well, and she survived, and she had a very hard time um, finding God at that point in her life, and when I finally saw her come to Christ, I thought to myself, well, if she can do it after everything she's been through, then I can believe too, and I kind of motivated the initiative, and then, of course, as I got older, I, I got uh, baptized when I was 19, and, well, you know, I've been a Christian ever since. Some people wouldn't know, but you'd be surprised when you find out people's hearts, so. This is um, my first time, and I just love what it represents, and I love the fact, I love the idea that I was going to be around so many Christians who have the same beliefs, who are just, you know, coming together and just, um, you know, giving, I guess, tribute to, to people who have chosen to use their gifts for the Lord in a way that's so, you know, um, obvious. So I, I'm just happy to be a part, and I initially came to... Um, uh, it because it jumped in the room, that's how I heard about it first, so now I'm just happy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, thank you, Mr.